The Stellar Handicap Hurdle is next. This is a 0 to 140, 2 miles and 1 furlong. And the top one is Albert Sires for Molly Etzer. For Battle King for Jim Murray, Maxine D'Angelo for Paul Rhodes. Hello Dolly, Derek Hinton, Fracking Stu Gray, Crazy Angelina for Graham Clutterbuck. Carla Agante has got two in there, Tin Mine and Indy Leaf. Amtrak Journey for Darren Thompson, Frozen Rose for Pontypool Racing. That's Graham Clutterbuck and Exemplus for Tam King. So 11 then in this 0 to 140 and away they go. It's two miles on one furlong to travel this time. There should be eight flights of hurdles, I would imagine. Ah, there is indeed. So, Indy Leaf then. Takes them over the first. Carter Agante's horses are running from the front this season. And this one is doing exactly that. And leads by three. To Battle King and Exemplus the Great. And Fracking and Crazy Angelina. Rose and Rose is the second of the greys, and that one is just the back marker at this stage then. As they make their way towards the second of the eight flights, this will be the last on the next circuit. And we'll skip over that one nicely with Indy Leaf the leader. Right, about three now to Battle King second. Exemplus is third, then Tin Mine. As we get a shot of them going around that turn, swinging left handed, uphill and away. Stretch and Indy Leaf. It's probably five clear now. Tin Mine in second. So Stable Companions one and two. Battle King just trying to break that Arrogante monopoly. Then comes Crazy Angelina. With Maxine D'Angelo on the inside of Exemplus. So take number three. We'll safely over that one as well. Feel pretty nicely grouped with the exception of the leader, Indy Leaf, who leads by four. Battle King and Crazy Angelina and Tin Mine. They take flight number four. And they're all over that one, okay. With the leader, Indy Leaf, now only a couple of lengths clear as we go do some jockey camming on the back market. Frozen Rose. Skip over that one. Let's see the jockey manoeuvre in position, whether he's going to go up the inside or switch to the outside and get through traffic. Oh, I'll try and get around the outside of it mile to make that decision and make that move as the Arrogante pair are once again one and two and are now together and it's Indy Leaf and Tin Mine over flight six that's the third from home and they're being chased by Exemplus and Hello Dolly and then Crazy Angelina Maxine D'Angelo is going the shortest way around but he's going to need some luck in running Battle King's lost his place a little bit Albert's eyes is one that hasn't been mentioned and he's now getting a run around the outside and you can see how steep that downhill run is there and look at Maxine D'Angelo cruising through and just goes through the Arrogante pier lock and knife through butter but being trapped by Hello Dolly Derek Hinton having a good season and the Arrogante pair don't want to give up the lead it's Tin Mine and Indy Leaf that have gone back on again on the outside Fracking is coming through the run and now Battle King's getting back into a wide open race over the second last and Tin Mine is in the lead here comes Battle King cruising up on the outside and now comes to take it up Battle King has now quickly got a couple of lengths clear it's Battle King from Tin Mine then comes Fracking now Amtrak Journey's making a move around the outside Frozen Rose is trying to run on as well but Battle King has gone for home as they begin to swing towards home and it's Battle King then quickly gone four clear racing down towards the final flight just a little more than two furlongs to go and Battle King is in the lead from Exemplus fracking Crazy Angelina and Amtrak Journey then Maxine D'Angelo the Arrogancy pair of beaten hello Dolly's got nothing left it's the final flight over it goes Battle King makes a dreadful mistake and that happens the race to either Exemplus or Crazy Angelina Exemplus is going on Battle King's trying to Rally back gamely, but it's Exemplus Battle King got many left as he it's Exemplus Battle King into the final half furlong. Exemplus Battle King and track journey. Exemplus looks like he's got a hold on. And Exemplus is gonna take it from Huntrack Journey. Battle King on looking at the last. Then Tin Mine and Hello Dolly Indy Leaf was probably last. And it's a win for Tam King and Exemplus a fortuitous win, I would think, because Battle King looked after that one one. Before that mistake at the last, Amtrak Journey was second for Darren Thompson. Battle King for Jim Murray was third. Tin Mine for Carter Agante fourth. And Hello Dolly for Derek Hinton was fifth.